Welcome once again. Right now we're at 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 5. Moral decline in the last days. Paul said, But know this, that in the last days, grievous times will come, for men will be lovers of self. Think about that today. How many people love themselves more than anything else? They just love pleasure. They love to feel good. They love, as long as they feel good, they figure as long as they feel good, they don't hurt anybody. At least they don't think they hurt anybody, or at least they don't believe they do. Then it's all good. Lovers of self. Lovers of money. Boastful. Oh, there goes a lot of arrogance and pride right there. Boastful. Arrogant. Blasphemers. Blasphemers, meaning those who just speak evil, mockers, those who mock other people. And you know, when you got arrogance, when you got pride in your heart, it's very easy to mock people. A mocker is a very proud person. Disobedient to parents. Unthankful. Unholy. Unthankful. How many people today are not thankful? They just take and take and take. They get all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of people, especially in the Western world, where they would be considered to be rich, according to a lot of other people in the world. They're not even thankful. They are in grace. Unthankful. Unholy. How many, think for a second now. How many people do you know that claim to believe, but they do not promote and exemplify holiness, without natural affection, unforgiving, and unforgiving is a big one, because this is one of the greatest signs that the Lord is working in your heart. This is one of the greatest signs of God's work in you, that you are able to forgive those who offend you. If you're not able to forgive those who offend you, you do not have Christ in your heart. Unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, fierce, not lovers of good. That is good as defined in the scriptures. Because again, as it says in the scriptures, in the last days, what is good will be perceived as evil and what is evil will be perceived as good. Traitors, headstrong, uh uh-huh, headstrong, conceited, Mm-hmm. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. How many people there are today who love their pleasure more than they love God? They're not willing to sacrifice their pleasure for God, but rather they justify their pleasure, you know, saying that it's all about love and stuff like that. They justify their pleasure instead of loving God more than they love pleasure. You need to say, you need to ask yourself, do I really love God? Am I more concerned about pleasing God in obeying Him and not justifying myself? Am I more concerned about pleasing God than getting pleasure myself? Is the focus here on God or is it on you? Holding a form of godliness catch that, a form of godliness. Looking godly, talking godly, talking faith, talking Bible, maybe even going to church. Holding a form of godliness, but denying its power. Christianity, faith without power, and the greatest, the litmus test of faith is power over sin. Do you have power over sin? Oh, you can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? You can talk all scripture. You can talk all Bible. You can talk about Jesus and about God's love and yada, yada, yada. But do you show power? Do you have power? God has power. But is that power at work in your life? Do you have power over sin in your life? Do you have power over lust? Do you have power over sexual immorality? Do you have power over substance abuse? Do you have power over unforgiveness and bitterness? Do you want to get back at people? Do you have the power of forgiveness, the power of true mercy over the people that offend you? Do you have power over sin? Or is your faith just shallow talk? 
holding a form of godliness, but having denied its power. No power in this kind of religion. It's just a social club. It's just talk. Paul says, turn away from these also. Now that is a good word from Paul. Until next time, seek God with all your heart. And if you do, you will find him. Call upon him. And he said that he will show you great and mighty things. And that is glorious. Love you guys.